you want people to feel moved in some way. You write the song, it's important to you, otherwise you wouldn't have wrote it. Uh, the story moved you and it came through you and then you managed to put it together. You want somehow this to be a helpful or a positive experience on someone else when they listen to it. Uh, you want them to, to be moved, you know, you want them to feel the exact same emotion that maybe, maybe not the exact same emotion, but some emotion that you felt while creating it. I was 15, you know, I uh, started playing, oh, about 14, 15, yeah, probably about 14, like, you know, I uh, started first playing guitar. And my mother's a musician back in Ireland, and uh, she was a working musician all her life, still. She still plays four or five nights a week, so I um, had music around the house all the time. But my, my mom's actually on this record, she played uh, accordion on, on two songs. We played a few times together, but not in a band situation. And you do I moved to New Orleans in uh, 2004 and uh, got a gig down there, a residency at an Irish bar and started playing, I um, was doing six or seven days a week, you know, and started gigging and fell in love with the city and the music and the people and the food. That sounds good enough for me, I'll trust you. Mm -hmm. Danny Burns had sort of viciously pursued me for a year or two. <laughs> He, he emailed me and sent me, uh, sent me a, a very, very nice complimentary email um, over a year before we started working together. It was actually while I was making the second Frey record. I think I must have sent about 100 songs to Warren and uh, we dwindled them down to 10. Uh, Los Angeles, uh, recording out here, it just was one of those things that happened. Uh, never planned it. Um, you know, I just spoke with Warren, I didn't know initially where he was located and that he happened to be out here in West Hollywood. For the most part the whole record was done, track live and old school, you know, and uh, I think that comes across in the, in, in the, in the tracks and the tunes, you know, it feels live, you know. Most of these guys are, you know, some of the best players in Los Angeles. So we got these guys to play live in a room and we did very, very few overdubs. Just some acoustic guitar overdubs, um, some additional vocal overdubs. It was a very live, very real sounding record. I think that this was just one of those situations where it was like we, we pulled the songs apart in pre-production, but by the time we bring them to these fantastic musicians, we've already got the structure, we've got tempo, because we brought a lot of the songs down in key so that it was much, we get more warmth out of his voice. Um, so we bring these songs to these great musicians already having worked on the key elements of the songs and just let them, for one of a better phrase, have at it. Uh, Warren has a huge, huge work ethic. You know, it's like he's incredibly driven and focused and he can multitask like nobody's business. So he, he can handle uh, all the personalities that are involved in, in making a record. He can juggle that and he makes every musician he gets the best performances out, out of each player. He knows how to get them where they're comfortable and let them be their best. Warren has a way of really digging deep and making you dig deep to get what you need to get, you know, to make an amazing uh, song happen or amazing recording happen. There's no pretensions with Danny. When he sent me songs, regardless of the recording quality, it, it, it had a certain honesty to it. But, um, doesn't really exist that often anymore. There's a song called Come a Little Bit Closer. At the end of the day, you can only be yourself, you know. You know that's the most important thing, you know. You, you, you try to be yourself. Uh, you were brought up a certain way, you are raised, you experience certain things. And then that's it, you know, that, that should be your, you know, what you experience. You know, it should be what you what you see or what you witness or what a friend told you happened. And that lends itself into the songwriting, you know, uh, ability and, and how people write songs. You're trying to be positive and you're trying to be uh, helpful. You're trying to add rather than take and those kind of things, you know, 
songs and music has that ability. It is, great music has affected me in that way. It's helped me, it's been a you know, guiding force in, in, in my life. And uh, it, so what, I try, what, I, what I've taken from that, I try to give it back.